I think it's safe to say that Ultra Kill is incredible, even though the game isn't finished yet. The game's two first acts were amazing, with the second one being made public in form of two releases, first one being Layer 4, and the latter being the rest of the layers 5 and 6. And with our first peek at Act 3, we got the layer of violence, which of course did not disappoint at all. With every update giving us new enemies, levels, mechanics, and weapons to experiment with, I was really curious as to what the final two layers could have to offer. So in this video, I've compiled my thoughts and theories based on personal imaginations and what the devs have already told us before. As we know, the game is based on the layers of Hell from Dante's Inferno, with the two remaining layers being 8 and 9, Fraud and Treachery. In the Divine Comedy, the layer is reserved for tricksters, seducers, fortune tellers, and etc. This is why I think the layout of the layer should be extremely confusing, like the labyrinth in the first few levels of violence. Winding paths, false floors, nonsensical elevators and staircases could be littered around the place, maybe even some non-Euclidean geometry magic going on behind the scenes, although I don't really know how well that would work with fight arenas and such. Like many custom level creators, I'd imagine fraud to be a quite dark layer with towering structures and worn-down buildings obstructing the sunlight and making the layer's fights a bit more challenging and harder to see and follow. The actual setting of the layer could be either in the middle of a giant cave or a mine of sorts, with clusters of crystals and reflective surfaces scattered around the layer that could maybe interact with something like the railgun, reflecting the shot into the nearest enemy. Talking about enemies, continuing with the theme of tricks and fraud, a new greater demon joins the roster, the Jester. This little guy can cloak himself to go invisible, at least partially, and sneak up on V1 from behind to land a powerful melee attack which cannot be parried. His cloak can be interrupted by dealing damage to it while invisible, or covering it in oil from the new variant of the rocket launcher, the Firestarter. I know this one isn't technically in the game yet, but it's quite obvious it's coming in the next update. Doing this would cause the demon to shriek, and the cloak would flicker a little bit, giving away the jester's position. To balance it out a little bit more, coin shots would also lock onto the jester while it's cloaked. I think making them move pretty fast, not as fast as the mannequins though, would also add to the paranoia of fighting these enemies, and would make it a sort of high priority target. I'm not entirely sure how balanced this enemy would be, and seeing any more than three in a large arena would get a little bit chaotic, even for ultra kill. All in all, I think the Jester would make for a fitting addition to the layer of fraud. Since all of the former layers have a distinct boss, I chose the Jerrion to represent fraud's theme. It would, of course, be in a fitting style for Ultra Kill, sporting the meaty inner layer as well as the marble outer shell, sort of similar to the Leviathan but with wings. As with the previous bosses, it is also seen flying around the levels before the actual fight. For the encounter itself, I'd imagine there to be a giant statue in the middle of a huge arena everything pointing towards it being kind of a Cerberus-style appearance where the statue comes to life and fights V1. Instead, in the spirit of fraud, I'd imagine the Jirion to come crashing through the window behind the player and attacking them right away. I think the Jirion would make a really nice addition since it does appear in the fraud layer of Dante's Inferno, but also because I think some new flying enemies would be pretty cool, since we haven't really had a really mobile flying boss yet. And no, Maurice doesn't count. All in all, I don't really see fraud to be a super difficult layer mechanically, since I believe most of the challenge should come from confusing and misleading the player where possible. Please also keep in mind that while I try, I'm not a professional game dev or designer, so take my ideas with a grain of salt. That being said, please comment down below on what you think should be an Ultra Kills fraud layer. I'm also thinking of making a similar video about layer 9, Treachery, as well as P3. So please let me know in the comments down below if you'd want something like that. These videos are really fun to make, so I'm really looking forward to it. And as always, thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I'll see you guys around. Cheers!